This story that I'm going to tell you guys has really helped me in understanding various aspects of life and the principle that this story actually shares and conveys to the reader is actually really interesting. So I thought, why not share this with my audience so you guys would love it. So let's get started. Once upon a time, a king and a minister was really close. And obviously, the other ministers in the court could not stand the fact that one among them were getting lots of time to spend with the king and he was really close with the king. So obviously, because they were jealous, they decided to plot against this one minister. And they approached the king after making a huge plan and they start telling the king false things about this minister. They start telling the king that he's not a trustworthy person and makes up evidences to prove the king about their point. And day by day, the king starts getting convinced about the things that the other ministers were telling. And eventually, one day, the king decided that the minister who was really close with him all these years should be executed. So the minister orders the execution of one of the most dearest person in his life. Unlike the other kings in those times, what this king used to do is that he used to have 10 dogs. And what these 10 dogs were gonna do is that they used to go running to the person that the king ordered to kill. And then the dog starts biting the person who should be executed. So the king, before letting go of the dogs, asks the minister, what is your last wish? And the minister says, I want to have 10 days, just 10 days to spend with my friends and family. That's it. So the king approves of that request, of that final request of uh, his dear minister. And once he was free for 10 days, instead of going directly to his house, the minister instead goes to the caretaker of all of these 10 dogs. And he pays the caretaker of the dog an amount of money and he says to the caretaker that I want to borrow these 10 dogs for 10 days. And he spends his day and night with these 10 dogs instead of his friends and family. And he has a good time with them, he takes care of them. Now, after 10 days, the same court, the same king, the same execution is about to take place. But this time, it's going to be for real. And the king lets go of these 10 dogs and the dogs start running. They run so fast that everyone is looking at these 10 dogs very curiously. And these 10 dogs, they go and jump over this person and start licking his face. And everyone in the court was amazed at the love and affection that these 10 dogs were showing for this minister. The king was really ashamed and he asks this minister, how did this even happen? With a shy smile on his face. And the minister replies, I was with you for 30 years and I was with these 10 dogs for just 10 days. And these 10 dogs has shown me 30 times kind of love and affection and mercy that you've shown me despite spending 30 years with you. So this story can be interpreted in different aspects. And one of the aspects is that sometimes you should always speak through your actions and not your words. So this minister chose his acts wisely and it really made a huge twist in the climax of the story. And another thing that I understood from this story is that when someone tells you something bad about a person that is really close with you and someone who you love so much, you should actually be thinking or be confronting with the person and asking him what exactly is this? Is this even true? So, you know, sometimes a lot of misunderstandings happens because of the jealousy of some people, because of the envy of some people. So uh, always we should make sure that the people we love in our life we know them completely and we should hear from their side as well. We should hear them, we should listen to them, we should listen to their part of the story as well. The story has helped me uh, think and view uh, situations in life from a very different perspective and I really hope it does for you too. And that's it for today. Until I see you next time, thank you and good luck.